Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly and here we're talking everything Agile and Agile tools. And today we're going to talk about how to group your epics. You guys are always asking, is epics the highest in hierarchy? Can we group them into something else to have like business project or initiative? I'm going to show you how to do that today. Before I do, I want to tell you two things. If you guys are stuck with Jira and want an hourly help, you can book one or two or three hours with me or some of the top experts in Jira in my team. Please go to the first comment in this video and click on the link and book yourself into our calendar. If you guys want to need help to transform your teams or help maintain your Jira, do big projects, anything you want in terms of Agile and Jira, please go to defineagile.com and let's discuss how we can help you. So now let's go to my computer and I'm going to show you how you can group epics together. I have a one caveat here, which is very important. This is a premium feature. So you need to have your a Jira premium. So when you do that, make sure that uh, you have a premium plan. Once you have a premium plan enabled, we need to do few things. We have a Jira issue hierarchy we need to set up and we need to create a custom issue type for the container. So I will call my initiative because initiative is something that is common language in Jira, especially in advanced roadmaps. So let's create a, a custom issue type. For that, we need to go to the wheel settings. We go to issues. And make sure you have admin access. If you guys are telling me you don't see the wheel or you don't see issues, it is because you don't have the correct permissions. We're using the latest Jira Cloud, so you should have everything here. So once we are here, we need to click on add an issue type. Call this initiative. And this is grouping for epics. Description, standard, not a subtask, click add. Try search for it. So here we found it. Now we need to associate it with issue type schemes. So it's available for your projects. Click on issue type schemes. And let's say I want to use it in Define Agile YouTube videos. So just find that um, Define Agile YouTube videos. I click on edit here. And then current scheme available. I find my initiative. I drag and drop it there. Here we go, all good. Now we can go and uh, save this. This video is brought to you by Practitest. Practitest helps the world leading companies to deliver better quality software with confidence. With Practitest, you can have full traceability of your business requirements and all the connected tests and issues. Execute tests of any type, manual, exploratory, or automated. Receive AI-based recommendations, report issues directly to Jira in real time, and present reports and dashboards in order to make better data-driven software quality decisions. So once this is saved, we can actually create a hierarchy. We click on issue type hierarchy, which is only available for premium, Jira premium, so make sure you have it. Click on issue type hierarchy, and then you click on create level, then you say level name, initiative, and then you select one or more issues, and I want this to be an initiative. So we see that above Epic, we have initiative of the issue type initiative. We click save changes here. So now the last step, how do we associate, um, how do we associate our epics to initiatives. For that, we need a special field available. The field is called um, parent link. So we need to make sure that parent link is available. Uh, for that, we can go to screens. We need to find our defined agile videos again. So we have box screen and default screen. Let's go and configure the default screen. Here we go. We have to add a parent link. And that is it. Parent link. So now let's go to our project and try it all in. We try, we did a lot of things. So let's try it out. Projects, the financial YouTube videos. We click on create. Now we have a story, bug, epic, design, and initiative. 
let's call this initiative advanced roadmap full overview and then let's click create so initiative was created now we need to find one of the epics so here is well, let's create an epic for this let's create an epic call this epic advanced roadmaps click create oh, need to put a summary as well create this is created let's view the issue and here we have a parent link so when you click on parent link you can select initiatives our initiative is advanced roadmap so that is it if we go to initiative we can see all the child issues which are epics right now so this is the way to group epics i know i went quickly if you have any questions please put them in the comments down below i'm happy to answer them if you find that that brought you value please like and subscribe help share this to more and more people thank you for watching i'll talk to you next one bye bye